hello everyone welcome to my science classes so this is the part 5 uh, from the chapter fundamental units of life class 9 biology so here um, uh, I'll discuss on the topic that is membrane biogenesis okay so let's start with membrane biogenesis the topic is membrane biogenesis getting okay let's start so first let us see how the cells are arranged in a particular cells uh, how the organs organelles are sorry organelles are arranged in a particular cells so we'll we'll see now there is a nucleus okay near the nucleus there will be your endoplasmic reticulum you can see this one endoplasmic reticulum immediately after uh, this nucleus you will have your rough endoplasmic reticulum then you will have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum getting my point then you will have the Golgi bodies okay then uh, near the Golgi bodies you will have your cell membrane okay so this placement you have to know for the formation of the uh, cell membrane means we'll study uh, membrane biogenesis membrane biogenesis means what the formation we'll see the formation of cell membrane is it clear to you all so you will we have to know the placements first the nucleus is present then followed by rough endoplasmic reticulum then followed by smooth endoplasmic reticulum then you have Golgi bodies then you have cell membrane clear so I'll draw for you in the next slide okay so let me draw so you have nucleus this is your nucleus clear then you have your rough endoplasmic reticulum So this is your rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum also I will make here only. Only difference between smooth and rough is in case of rough endoplasmic reticulum you have ribosomes in the walls but in case of smooth endoplasmic reticulum you don't have uh, ribosomes okay that's why the surface is smooth alright then Golgi also I will make here only these are Golgi bodies so rough diagram I am making so to explain you membrane biogenesis properly ok suppose this is the Golgi till this part I am making then the end is your what cell membrane let me change the color So let me make ribosomes here. So in case of rough endoplasmic reticulum you have ribosomes. Getting my point? So here the blue color I am making ribosomes. Is it clear to you all? Let me take another color color okay this is the uh, placement of the organelle how it is arranged okay now we'll see how the how the membrane biogenesis the process we're going to see membrane biogenesis is nothing but formation of the cell wall so how this particular cell wall is formed understanding so starting from endoplasmic reticulum okay so this is your rough endoplasmic reticulum RER and this will be smooth endoplasmic reticulum SER okay so in case of rough endoplasmic reticulum here there will be a formation of protein so here it will produce protein in, uh, in rough endoplasmic reticulum okay in smooth endoplasmic reticulum I'll take one more color let me take pink okay in smooth endoplasmic reticulum there is a formation of what lipids okay in case of rough just remember in case of rough endoplasmic reticulum there is a formation of 
protein. In case of smooth endoplasmic reticulum, there is formation of lipids. Short form I am writing, you just write it down in your notes. Okay, understanding? So in uh, RER, there is a formation of lipids, or oh, sorry, proteins, sorry for that. In RER, there is a formation of proteins and in SER, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, there is a formation of lipids. So what, there, there is channel here, they can move, okay, the proteins also comes and the lipids also come this way and they will leave endoplasmic reticulum and they will get inside what the Golgi bodies these are what Golgi bodies GB I am writing Golgi bodies so they will get inside the Golgi bodies let me take the orange color now so here they uh, the proteins and lipids used to come and get inside the Golgi bodies and in, uh, in inside the Golgi bodies there will be modification packaging okay all will takes place so here there will be a modification and packaging of this this lipids and proteins getting my point and they will pass on to the end of the Golgi aperture so they they forms the forms the shape of a take the shape of a vesicles okay so they will come to the end part of the Golgi bodies this lipids and proteins used to get modified and undergoes packaging in case of uh, inside Golgi bodies okay so after they take the sh uh, form of the vesicles they will bud off from here they will bud off and they will start joining the what cell membrane or you can say plasma membrane so likewise they will contribute in the formation of your cell membrane so cell membrane and cell wall we have discussed in uh, my previous video so there i have told you in the characteristic features of cell membrane that it is made up of lipids and proteins so is it justifiable that uh, why it is made up of proteins and lipids because uh, from rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum they are producing lipids and proteins they are coming to the uh, Golgi aperture for modification and packaging and take the form of a vesicles then this vesicles comes and joins the uh, cell membrane and contributes in the formation of cell membrane so this whole process the process is called the process of formation of the cell membrane is called your membrane biogenesis getting my point what all are the important steps starting from RER to SER to Golgi bodies how they are coming it's very easy understanding is it clear to you all is it clear the difference between uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum is that in case of rough endoplasmic reticulum you can see dotted structure that is ribosomes but in case of smooth endoplasmic reticulum the ribosomes are absent in case of rough endoplasmic reticulum they synthesizes proteins okay in case of smooth endoplasmic reticulum they synthesizes your lipids okay is it clear to you all so let's see the theory write up okay whatever i have explained so i'll give you a write up and there is a question with the write up that it, it is saying what is membrane biogenesis very important question how is plasma membrane formed during this process so plas your plasma membrane is also the cell membrane so cell membrane is also called as plasma membrane don't get confused in this okay so you have to say the process and what is membrane biogenesis okay the theory part i will be giving now so this is the one okay so what it is saying that the process of plasma membrane formation is your membrane biogenesis okay here the step by step process I have given okay where to place this let me keep it here only so uh, the uh, I'll start with it huh the proteins lipids are first synthesized in rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum respectively means in rough endoplasmic reticulum the protein will be synthesized and in case of smooth endoplasmic reticulum the lipids will be synthesized okay then they are then transported they are they are transported to which organelle to the Golgi complex 
for the modification packaging modification okay so after the modification they are transported to the cell surface through vesicle formation okay i have already told you that they will form vesicles and they will transfer to the cell surface which bud off it will bud off from the golgi complex to fuse with the cell membrane they then go and fuse with the cell membrane and forms a part of that particular membrane okay this whole process is your membrane biogenesis is it clear to you all understanding okay so if you have any doubt you can write down in the comment section so that again i can explain you nicely okay so thank you students thank you for your patient hearing